While exploring the TARDIS, Ace found the TARDIS Zoo and inadvertently released a dodo. The pursuit led Ace to a gigantic wardrobe, where she found a mirror reflecting a vampire-like figure. Before the doctor could explain further, the dodo knocked over the mirror, and the figure vanished. Ace then returned the dodo to the zoo. Under the doctor's tutelage, Ace fought the Daleks and faced Davros in November 1963 destroying one Dalek with an anti-tank rocket and damaging another with a baseball bat upgraded by the hand of Omega so it delivered blasts of energy strong enough to smash Dalek eye stocks off and damage transmats. During this adventure, her portable stereo was destroyed by a Dalek, something that pleased the doctor as it was a dangerous anachronism. The doctor explained to her if someone technically minded found the stereo and discovered how it worked, the microchip revolution could take place 20 years too early causing damage to the timeline. She also met and came to like Mike Smith. However, she quickly hated him when she found out he was working for the Daleks. During this adventure, she met Charlie Smith after he traveled back in time, but only met him briefly. After leaving Earth, the Doctor and Ace traced the Dalek which went to 2016 but got distracted before following it. She opposed Helen A. and her sadistic government, which required people to be happy on pain of death and worked with Susan Q to undermine her rule over the colony, and stopped the Cybermen from getting hold of the Nemesis statue in 1988. During this encounter, she killed multiple Cybermen with gold coins fired from her catapult and destroyed a Cyber Shuttle using Nitro-9. She admitted to the Doctor she didn't like Cybermen. At the same time, Ace learned several of the most chaotic events in Earth's history, the First World War and Hitler's invasion of Poland, for example, were down to the statue. Ace was sent undercover by the doctor to Gideon Vale, posing as a maid where she met Rachel Jensen again, though she couldn't do the duties properly. She helped Rachel in her investigation, knowing that Rachel could hack a security door. They managed to get into a vault which contained a lot of nuclear warheads. She was then imprisoned. After escaping she stopped the Vale's private army by cancelling out the mind control. She got annoyed when the British army started to shoot at them on their way to stopping the light. She drove a motorcycle with the doctor riding pinion to get to the launch site to stop the launch of the missiles. In another alternate timeline created by the Decayed Master, she met the Sixth Doctor and Perry Brown. She gave the Sixth Doctor the nickname of Joseph, a reference to the musical Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. He did not understand the reference, though Perry found it amusing. Although the Sixth Doctor did not seem to be particularly pleased with his future self's choice of traveling companion, Ace got along well with Perry, who was surprised to learn that she referred to the Seventh Doctor as Professor. Ace lost all memory of this encounter when the timeline was erased. Immediately after this, she and the Doctor visited Bob Dovey at 59A Barnesfield Crescent in Totten, Hampshire on 23 November 1963. At this stage, the relationship between the Doctor and Ace took a darker turn. At least initially, he had been trying to educate her not merely have adventures with her. His style of teaching, however, was occasionally unorthodox. At times he lied to her or at least withheld certain truths, so she would face the demons of her past and emerge as a stronger person. She later met Brigadier Lethbridge Stewart, helping Unit defeat the Destroyer and Morgane in Carberry in 1997. The Doctor forced Ace to face demons from her past, taking her to Gabriel Chase, arriving a century before she had burnt it down. There, she discovered that the presence in the house of the entity known as Light was what she had felt when compelled to burn the house down. While visiting Maiden's Point in 1943, Ace learned that her arrival on Iceworld was not an accident, but part of a larger scheme conceived by one of the Doctor's greatest enemies, a cosmic evil known as Fenric. Ace was a wolf of Fenric, one of many descendants of a Viking tainted with Fenric's genetic instructions to free it from its ancient prison. Fenric had transported her to Iceworld by Time Storm and had made her a pawn in the complex game between it and the Doctor. The Doctor appeared to have been aware of this from their first meeting, although Ace was not. After Fenric was defeated, Ace continued to journey with the Doctor. Ace returned to Perryvale where she found that most of her old friends had gone missing. She thought they had moved on, but they had been taken to the Cheetah Planet as prey for the Cheetah people. The Tremors Master, an old enemy of the Doctor, was using them to get off the planet. Ace, after managing to get the mental influence of the cheetah virus under control, 
though the doctor noted that a part of the cheetah planet would always live on inside her. She returned with two of her friends and went off to travel with the doctor again. Although they found it taken over by the master, who whisked them along to a destination of his choosing as part of a scheme. She tried to physically attack the master, though the doctor kept her at bay. While the doctor met with Zoe Harriet on a space station, Ace visited the station's chemistry lab.